I got into flying because my uncles were in the Air Force and my mom's a flight attendant for Delta. I just always love flying and aviation. Oklahoma State actually had a really good aviation school. Um, we had an airport on campus there, really lucky. I fly to pretty much every event now, except for the West Coast. The first thing that comes to mind is like the freedom, you know? You, I can go anywhere at any time. November 189, Mike Hotel, Fort Lauderdale, Tower, Fort Lauderdale, Terminator 3009. There's no two same days of flying. The clouds are always different, the winds are different, the, your performance is different. It's pretty awesome. I went to a neurologist in New York City at HSS and I was sitting down with him and he's like looking at me and examining me and he goes, you know, I think you might have some rare form of muscular dystrophy. When those words came out of his mouth, I was like, all right, this guy's an idiot. Like, there's no chance, because it's never been my family history. And I eat well, I just don't understand how it could possibly be that. So he's like, I'm going to do a blood test, and in a couple months, you'll get the results, and we'll see what it is. And I'm like, all right, great, whatever. Here's do a blood test, take my blood. And I don't hear from him for so long. And it ends up being six months later, he calls me and says, hey, Morgan, uh, the test came back positive for FSHMD, and uh, yeah, good luck. I'm like, what are you talking about? What do you mean, good luck? Like, what do I do now? What, what does this mean? What, I don't even know what this disease is. And uh, he's like, yeah, I don't, there's no cure for it. That's pretty much all I know. I'm like, so what do I do? How do I move forward? How do I get better? And he said he doesn't know. The, the name of the disease is um, fasciocapular humeral muscular dystrophy, which is abbreviated to FSHMD. If you just look at your arm, for example, and you see the muscle there, and then if you had muscular dystrophy this type, it would just be like tendons and tissue like that. So that's what started happening with me and my right pec. So I started doing my research and I found the best specialist for FSHMD in Miami, actually, which was nice, kind of close to home. He said, once again, there's no cure, and come back in like 10 years once it gets worse, and I'll give you some physical therapy to do. From that moment on, I was just so frustrated with the, the doctors that I've seen and uh, looked at other options, more naturalistic, holistic path, and that's when I started researching food and how it can heal and, and change your genes and um, completely change your genetics just by eating a certain way. And I then went on some crazy diets. I did a 16-day grape cleanse. Um, so I ate red grapes for 16 days and just water. It's probably the hardest thing I've ever done. My girlfriend was in Nepal and she met this doctor there that uh, treated cancer and muscular dystrophy. And she's like, hey, I think you should really look into this if your cleanse doesn't go well. And the doctor, once I got in contact, him, contact with him in Nepal, he said, uh, come over for three months, the treatment is 90 days, and um, I guarantee you'll be better. It's like, all right, sweet, let's try it. So I went over there for just under four months and 
it was difficult. It was really hard. It was like five to six hours a day of, of laying on a, a table and having two guys rub herbs on me and let them dry and then rub them in and let them dry. And it was, uh, it was tough. I didn't really have any results for two months, but it was worth it. I started feeling a little bit of um, muscle come back. You can't really see it. I can feel if I put my hand on my chest and then flex, which I've never had before. So that was really exciting. People might call me crazy and doctors have. I think the mind is so strong and the body is self-healing. It's just so incredible what the body can do and on its own. And if you feed it right and give it the right nutrition and use your mind to help it, I think anything can be done. In the last years that I've been on tour, I haven't got to where I want to be. My game isn't as powerful as it used to be, but uh, other parts are stronger than, than what they were in the past. It's been a learning process coming back, but I think uh, I, I can still compete.